Hello, this is Dr. James Camp at Lee College in Baytown, Texas. If you're watching this video, it's very likely that I am your computer science instructor. Welcome to computer science, welcome to programming. Uh, for this class, we're going to be using uh, C++ in Microsoft Visual Studio. Um, hopefully you have been able to download and install Microsoft Visual Studio. So when we go to the Start menu, there should be in here a uh, place for Visual Studio 2022. If not, um, you can go to the All Apps um, and scroll all the way down to V, and there is Visual Studio 2022. Okay. Um, before we start that, I'm going to check Visual Studio Installer here. Uh, I'm having network issues right now, so it's not going to be able to download anything. Uh, but what I want to show you is that when you are uh, installing your packages, there are a whole lot of really fascinating options here. ASP.NET, Azure, uh, the only one you need, okay, uh, you can uncheck all of these. Uh, the only one you need to have checked on your personal computer is desktop development with C++. Okay, um, and that uh, that's going to enable what we're going to do this class. Now, uniform Universal Windows Platform Development, Mobile Development with .NET, all these things are really fascinating. Uh, and you can play around with those in your own time once you learn a little bit more about the basics of programming. So anyway, we're going to find Visual Studio 2022. Uh, if you don't, if you haven't already, I suggest right-clicking on it um, and choosing to pin it to the start menu. Okay, we're going to uh, we're going to launch Microsoft Visual Studio 2022, and what you're going to see here is an open recent section. Which, if you're a newbie, uh, this open recent section is going to be empty. Uh, and then there's a get started section. Clone from a repository is not what you want right now. We're not um, downloading GitHub code. Um, but to open a project or solution or open a local folder, again, you're, you're new at this. You don't have any projects or folders on your, um, or source code folders on your computer. So we're going to create a new project. Most of the time, when you navigate to Visual Studio 2022 in this class, you're going to be creating a new project because most of what we're doing in this class is uh, create a new project, write a short bit of code, finish it up. Um, you'll see that there's at the top a list of languages that you have installed. You want to make sure that C++ is highlighted and then as you scroll down, console app that runs code in a Windows terminal is um, the kind of project you want to create for this class. So we'll click console app and we'll click next. Uh, by default, the location is somewhere on your hard drive called the repos folder, um, which stands for repositories. It's part of Microsoft's attempt to, you know, integrate with GitHub and other in cool programming tricks. I suggest you click the dot 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 folder uh, button here and navigate to somewhere where you will be able to find your code. Probably um, sticking things in your documents folder um, would be a good place to start. Then console application one is a pretty 
unmemorable name. You want to give your program some kind of name that's memorable. So um, we're going to call it hello because all this program is going to do is, is print hello world. Um, then you just click create and let Visual Studio do its thing for a few minutes. And soon you'll find yourself staring at um, a big window with hello.cpp displayed. Um, I have another entire video in which I explain the parts of this, um, but basically this is a program that is set up to print the words hello world to the console screen. Um, if you come over here to the left and you go to the click the triangle next to source files, you'll see that hello.cpp is there. So if you ever accidentally close it, you can open it right back up again. Um, we can go to the local Windows debugger here, click the little green play button, and we'll see down here at the bottom this, this program is compiling. And then, ta-da, it says hello world. Okay. What else did you expect it to do, really? So that's uh, getting to the point of being able to compile and run your first program in Visual Studio. Um, obviously, that is just the beginning, and there's a lot more to learn about actually writing the C++ programs, and that's the whole class. So um, thank you for... Uh, your attention here. I hope you figured out what you needed to figure out about getting started in Visual Studio and uh, I look forward to seeing the programs you write. Good luck and happy programming.